All right, so I have with me now Mike and Mike's other halves, the better other halves, Patricia and Heather. So I do have to ask, so the boys came in, today, in earlier, they gave a great little interview of what it was as to how long you guys been together, what's brought them and you guys to the lifestyle, but I want to hear from you guys. And they did say, just so you know, happy wife, happy life. Yes. So they were absolutely all about what it is that you guys need, what it is you guys were looking for. So what was it that you thought was your driving for force of what brought you to the lifestyle? Mine was just sex. Like, I just, just the sex. I love the sex. Like, the more often, the better. <laughs> So fantasies and desires me, that you had yeah. that maybe weren't being fulfilled yeah. in your relationship that you wanted to explore? Yes, just more often, different things okay. that maybe we hadn't done before and maybe somebody else could provide. Okay. Yes. Was that a tricky conversation for you to have? Um, for us, it wasn't too tricky. We just kind of, kind of looked at it and said, hey, this might be fun. Yeah. And I guess as it goes along, we have those conversations as it goes along. Like each time something different happens, we kind of have that conversation. Is it okay? Is it all right? Mm -hmm. And definitely a learning experience. Yes. Yeah, because you're you guys are newer. We are. You yeah. are. Yeah. And yes. so, how are you finding it so far? I'm enjoying it because my thing was it was Mike's uh, birthday present. I was like, "What do you want for your birthday? Whatever you want." Let me know. Okay. So he was like, okay, let me think about it. And then he was like, look at this. So it was Whisper in Vegas. Mm -hmm. So I looked it up and I was like, okay, I'm in. Let's do it. Did that create any immediate feelings, though, of insecurities nope. or any fears of he was looking for something that you couldn't provide? Or was it just one of those things where you just like you guys have been together for so long that it was just like, let's explore? Exactly. Because yeah. my thing, like, I love to have sex. I love to have sex all the yep. time. So I was like, okay, let's try it. And we did it. And I feel like ever since we did that, it just brought us like closer and closer together. Everybody says that, yeah. that it really yeah. has strengthened their marriages and strengthened exactly. their relationships because you guys are going through something together. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but it's funny. The one thing that somebody had mentioned yesterday is, well, when you're in the lifestyle, you're having more sex than what most couples who are not yes. in the lifestyle Mm -hmm. are which is why you guys are all so friendly and so happy and so nice yes. because you guys yes. are having orgasms all the time exactly. yes it's funny because he pulled up a picture from our from the what was the thing we were here last time the um glow thing or yes the glow party yeah mm -hmm. and he pulled up a picture of the two of us i was like look i'm like you can say you've done both of us and he was like oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm like not most couples can say that that's right <laughs> and that's right. there's no there's no feelings negative feelings about it mm -hmm. that's the thing no. right like mm -hmm. you have that communication and you guys are able to yes. to share yeah. and to swap and to do all those things and yes. you still have a friendship outside of that mm -hmm. as long right. as we're together i'm okay with it that was yeah. our whole thing from day one i told him as long as we do it together, I'm okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So and you being, guys have those rules? being together is that thing where you can see what the other person is doing yeah. and you mm -hmm. can kind of maybe grow from what the other person is okay. doing and see, hey, maybe that's what they like and maybe that's something different I don't do and and so that's nice to know. And so I can try that and yeah. you grow together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it is a lot of it. So has there been, because I've, I've talked to a few other people who are like, okay, uh, the man has said, you know what, I have no interest in anything to do with BDSM. I don't want to ever, you know, inflict any sort of pain, but because I know she's into it, we have explored this together. Mm -hmm. So is that something you guys have kind of figured out different kinks and desires and fantasies that you didn't even realize you had that this has kind of opened your mind to? We did a little bit, just mm -hmm. just a little bit, like kind of when we met, we kind yep. of did a little bit with the cross, but mm -hmm. not a whole lot, but just okay. a little bit where we were like, hey, this is kind of fun mm -hmm. yep. and, you know, yep. just, but not, not to delve much deeper into it. Okay. It was just kind of like a fun one-time thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Because I'm not into it, so I tell Mike, go do it, go have fun. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are you ladies bisexual? Yeah. Yes. Not really. You're not really. No. Oh, wait. 
Depends how much I drink. Apparently, we're in a mic. The more I drink, the more I get into it. But that's yes, right. I'm sober? That's right. No. Okay. <laughs> and for you, it is something that you are naturally yeah, into. Yeah, well, I have to admit, that's one thing that I could not get used to for the longest time is that we would meet couples. Yeah. And I thought it was like this. And next thing I know, the girl was like all over me. And I'm like, hey, right. what? And huh? you did say that the first time uh -huh. we met. Like, was the girl was all over you, but... You weren't into that, and yeah. so so I might be, but the, to know that she's not, it's just that cue that you know if we're together, that mm -hmm. that's not the part that's going to happen this time. So yeah. that's okay. Yeah, that's fair. So the community itself is something very unique, and there seems to be a mm -hmm. lot of friendships and bonds that have been mm -hmm. made here. What is your guys' favorite thing about the hive compared to say other places that you have gone and experienced? I love that we just come and we see people that we've seen before mm -hmm. and we get to talk and just catch up like what happened during your week and mm -hmm. how's it going. And sometimes people we've seen three or four times that we've never talked to, we can go say, hey, I've seen you mm -hmm. like yeah. a few times it's, here. How are you? It's totally different. Yeah, because yeah, totally you, your first club that you went to, or maybe it wasn't the first one, but the other one that you guys went to, you didn't really enjoy that. Oh, in Miami Trapeze? Yeah. Totally different experience. Okay. Like, our first experience was at Whisper okay. in yep. um, Vegas. So mm -hmm. we went, and I have to admit, the first time we got there, I told Mike, I'm like, I'm really nervous. I'm like, I don't know what to expect. And then we walked in, and I was like, okay, it's not bad. And I, we ended up having a really good experience. And then we did a meet and greet. And then at the meet and greet, we met this couple that invited us to a pool party. And the pool party, they invited us to here. And we met, like, a great group of people. Mm -hmm. So then he had a job in Miami. So we were like, okay, let's try a trapeze. Totally different spirits. Didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the way things were. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I'm like, if this was our first experience, we wouldn't be still doing this right now. Yeah. So, yeah, so definitely first experience makes a huge difference. And so then finding places where the atmosphere plays a huge mm -hmm. part of that yes. so you can be comfortable. Right? Yes. Exactly. Right? We went to like a sports bar like a couple weeks ago to watch a game and we're like sitting there I'm like nobody's coming up and saying hi. Like where's everybody <laughs> at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because yes. here is like amazing and I have a friend at work who's Polly and we were kind of talking about it and I tell her it's like crazy the type of people we meet here. Mm -hmm. It's like amazing. It's like they're great. We have a good time. Everybody's open. I'm like it's not the same as when you go out without people like that yeah right yeah cause, i mean obviously you guys aren't very public in your personal lives about no, the lifestyle no. um do you think that a lot of that has to do still with just more of the societal fears um the judgments the yeah. shame yes. yeah and so it's kind of protecting yourselves but still getting to explore this right yes it's like a my, lot of the judgment of yeah. what other people might think yeah yeah like my best friend i don't think she would ever understand my sister who's another best friend I don't think she would get it either. Yeah. Which is unfortunate that people feel like they have to live in hiding mm -hmm. of something that's such a natural thing that mm -hmm. everybody does, um, but it's still very judged for yeah. it, right? Yeah. It's like we have two sets of friends. We have, like, this set of friends that don't know, like, we hang out, we have a good mm -hmm. time, but they don't know this side. So when we come this side, we yes. feel like we're more open, we have a better time, but... I wish I could bring them into it, but I know it would never happen. Yeah, yes. because here you get to just be yourself. Exactly. Yes. And exactly. everywhere else, it's like there's a part of you that you're kind of mm -hmm. hiding. Yes. Right? right? Every time we come, we meet more people. We yep. make better friends, and, like, we just get closer every time we come. That's nice. I'm glad yeah. that you guys are having a positive experience and that mm -hmm. you guys are able to actually share that with everybody listening and watching so that they can see the normalcy that's actually in it mm -hmm. and not have, you know, those... The idea that they've put it into this box of what it actually looks like, right? Yeah, it's very natural. I want to say it's very natural. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, and it seems to it be is. that. Everybody that's talking about it, everybody that's sharing, it just seems to be a very natural, comfortable mm -hmm. thing that they have mm -hmm. discovered that has, you know, brought them closer together, and they're able to expand on that, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Awesome, ladies. Well, I'm yes. so grateful that you guys were willing to share. <laughs> Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for talking and thank you for sharing with everybody. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.